This one started early. I can't clip early video for every ejection. I know you like to criticize that, but when it's the same batter, it's so much easier to locate footage, and that's why you get this. Strike three, Judge punched out, and he cannot believe the call by Surewater. One away. Talk about Surewater being a, a, a hitter's umpire, and that ball is clearly below the zone. Aaron Judge having a type of season where he, he knows the zone. He's having quality at bats. He's not fishing too often, so you can tell when he, he looks frustrated, he has a legit reason. Ball is effing down, will continue to be a theme. And we all know Aaron Boone's gonna let whoever's behind the plate know what he thinks when it comes to Aaron Judge and his players. One and two. And you see that splitty right there, just, I mean, way, way below the zone. Maybe one or two balls, and you see the frustration from Aaron Judge right here, and Aaron Boone still still letting the umpire behind the plate hear it right now. Swing and a miss. Judge down on strikes for the second time. And here's Judge. He is 0 for 3. Three strikeouts. Pitch inside. In the past. There's another strike below the zone. But it better believe, you know, with the bats that Aaron Judge is having. And Aaron Boone has been riding Sherwater all game. He keeps saying, stop calling that pitch that's low. And we've seen it before. This is something that Aaron Judge, I know he appreciates. I know this makes him want to play even harder for Aaron Boone. He's going to have his guys back, and you appreciate this if you're a player in that dugout. Because those pitches are down. He's putting Aaron Judge behind the eight ball each and every at bat to, in tonight's game. Okay, it's a pattern. Two things are true here. The umpire's being consistent with that call. But also true is the numbers say that call should be a ball. It's consistent on a league-wide basis, too, because Judge's strike zone always seems to suffer from this low strike thing. So what do you do? Other than, of course, implementing T-Max challenge system that would have reversed the ejection strike, but I digress. Muscle memory for an umpire for anyone is really hard to break, and Judge is so tall, those pitches are clear strikes by several inches for nearly every other batter in baseball. But Judge is so tall, I'd be curious to see how the tallest umpire, Jordan Baker, would call it. Is there commiseration amongst the talls? Well, it looks like they call a lot of low strikes on him, Cam. Statistically, they missed that call on this guy more than any other player in the big leagues. He's six foot seven. And you said it. This is the big leagues, Michael. When you give guys pitches, you give, you know, you know, you open up a zone against, you know, hitters. It makes it difficult. You know, these guys are good enough as it is. But when you get a squeeze as much as Aaron Judge, it makes it just so much more difficult. Look at look at the stat cast. 53 pitches outside the strike zone. Call the strike. The most in the big leagues. Lest we forget. This pitch, it was incorrect, it was low, but it looks even more so because it's also a sinker on top of everything else. They've had the most missed strikes on this guy, 433. I mean, that's ridiculous. 433 missed strikes against a guy. You know, it's almost, you know, amazing what he's been able to do, always being behind the counter or being squeezed somewhat, you know. His, for, his, his mental fortitude to stay locked in at bats and not let that get to him has been pretty special. How do you train umpires not to make the same low strike mistake on this guy over and over again? Leave a comment. What's your idea? Because I sure don't have one at this point. He's there to make the play. 